And we now turn to an ongoing crisis facing millions of expectant mothers across the country, the racial disparity in maternal health care. For many, it's a matter of life or death. CBS's Jerika Duncan reports that some members of Congress are trying to address the problem. This is uh, your favorite one. It's my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> we first met 38-year-old Denisha Bowen in Union, New Jersey, just one week before she was due to give birth to her third child. Bowen delivered her first two children in hospitals, and both times she said she felt neglected. I remember at one point I started crawling. I was still in the hallway because <laughs> I was crawling. You were crawling in a hospital Yeah, because I was in so after much After your pain. water broke. Mm -hmm. OBGYN and mother of three, Dr. Nicola Pemberton, runs the birth center of New Jersey. I would say a lot of patients who come to my practice come with the narrative of, I don't want to die. That's why I'm here. The United States has the highest maternal mortality rate for a developed country. About 700 women die during childbirth or soon after every year, according to the CDC. And black women are at least three times more likely to die from a pregnancy-related cause than white women. Yeah, it's a multitude of reasons, and it's a horrible statistic. Errol Pierre is the senior vice president of New York State Programs at Health First, a not-for-profit health insurer. Is it true that chances of surviving are higher Absolutely. if I have a doctor that looks like me? Yeah, a study in Florida showed this, that um, black children had higher birth rates and higher survival rates when there were black doctors delivering the baby. Right now, there's a move on Capitol Hill to provide more than a billion dollars in funding to address the historical disparity. Illinois Congresswoman Lauren Underwood, who's a registered nurse, is one of its key sponsors. People hear $1 billion. How will that money be spent? Where does the money go? Increasing the number and the diversity of our maternal health care workers. That means more OBs, more midwives, more nurse midwives, more lactation consultants, more doulas. Because we believe that every birthing person in this country should have a choice in their providers. Here, I, I feel like I see the care the level of care is completely different. A week after meeting Bowen, she welcomed home her healthy baby boy, Ermias. It was a better birthing experience than before, one she believes can help save lives. Jerika Duncan, CBS News, Union, New Jersey.